It's a new year and a new WebStorm release, now named WebStorm 2016.1. This update has many exciting new features. Let's take a look. Refactoring means productivity, and WebStorm 2016.1 brings many useful additions for ECMAScript 6 and TypeScript refactoring. Converting inline code into a new method is a snap with extract method. The introduce field refactoring takes snippets and declares them for you on the class. WebStorm also improves refactorings for create method, inline method, and more, both for ES6 and TypeScript. ES6 template strings are very popular and WebStorm support keeps getting better. Want to refactor an expression into a template string? WebStorm has an intention for that. This intention works in both TypeScript and ES6. For TypeScript development, WebStorm brings a number of productivity improvements targeting expanded TypeScript usage. For example, changing a method to public automates not just the class, but any superclass. You can also quickly make a class or a method abstract, or remove the abstract, as well as specify the type explicitly. Finally, working with TypeScript itself is improved, with code completion in tsconfig.json files, and support for the latest TypeScript 1.8 version. For example, the Optimize Imports action consolidates imports from the same module into one import line. In ES6 and TypeScript, WebStorm code intentions can generate your import for you, even merging into an existing import statement. For example, not only can WebStorm autocomplete on init, but it automatically adds the import, in fact, into the existing import line. And here's a particularly handy feature. Unused imports are shown and cleared with the Optimize Imports action. If we remove implements on init, WebStorm shows an unused imports. Then, Optimize Imports automatically removes it. Even though Angular 2 is in beta, usage is picking up and WebStorm is staying current by implementing many useful features. Angular 2's event and property bindings are supported, and autocomplete based on both Angular 2 syntax and your component structure. This even works with component inputs defined in the decorator. Our hero detail component uses a decorator to define an et input. When our Angular 2 template uses this component, WebStorm can autocomplete inside the property binding based on the input. Navigation in Angular 2 templates works as you would expect go from a usage in the template to the template variable definition. For Node.js developers using Vagrant, WebStorm now lets you set up and run code in remote interpreters with debugger support. First, the Vagrant and SSH plugins are now bundled, so creating an instance in your project root and starting it is easy. We can now create a Node.js run configuration that uses an interpreter in our Vagrant instance. WebStorm 2016.1's new productivity features aren't limited to JavaScript. For example, the W3C's latest spec for CSS custom properties brings custom cascading variables, and WebStorm is there to support its use. In your CSS, you can define and reuse variables with syntax highlighting, auto-completion, navigation, and warnings. Tired of mistyping the CSS classes and IDs from your HTML? WebStorm now auto-completes based on definitions in your markup. This applies in LESS and SAS files as well as CSS. Web workers and service workers bring more performance to web applications. WebStorm 2016.1 lets you debug web apps that run code in your workers. For example, set a breakpoint in a web worker. Then, when run in a JavaScript debug run configuration, WebStorm will pause execution in that worker's context. The world of JavaScript and web frameworks is improving rapidly. WebStorm 2016.1 is leading the way, bringing its powerful IDE productivity features to these new advances.